Hello! A lot of you have been asking about why I stopped uploading orthodontic vlogs and asking when the next update is going to be. Well, the, as you probably noticed, I haven't uploaded a video now for about 20 months. I think the last one I uploaded was in May 2013. Well, apart from the depression and uh, feeling self-conscious and whatever I mentioned in my last update, really the orthodontic treatment itself hasn't been going too well and I've just not really felt up to talking about it all that much. Um, as I believe I discussed in my last video, there have been some setbacks with the braces and I was upset about the way my voice had been altered and the delays in the treatment. So, in this video, I'm, I probably won't remember all the facts and dates, but I'm just going to go over some of what's been happening since my last video. So, um, well, to begin with, we know that the treatment was originally supposed to last 12 to 18 months. Obviously now, I've had the braces for 3 years and 10 months. So, that's, that's the first um, disappointment. <laughs> Uh, as you probably remember from some of my previous vlogs, I was very happy with the results around the end of 2012, and I couldn't understand why the treatment was continuing. Then the brace broke in March 2013, and as my orthodontist wasn't at work that day, I went to see the dentist as an emergency, um, hoping, ironically, to stop any further delays. The dentist cut the wire on the bottom left back teeth, which meant that I had no support on those teeth and a lot of the bite was lost. When I returned to my orthodontist, although she didn't actually say that the dentist had done anything wrong, well, she wouldn't considering the dentist works at the same practice in, and is her boss, uh, she more or less said that yes, cutting the wire had caused further delays. So we were already running several months over time. I'd already had the braces two years at that point. And uh, so things, things weren't getting any better. And on top of that, I've developed this awful lisp. So for the last, for the months after that, my orthodontist tried various different things, different elastics, different, different wires, moved the brackets around on the front teeth, and um, nothing really seemed to work. We found it very hard to get the bite back in place, and uh, the list has just continued and actually got better and got worse, and it's been a bit um, unpre unpredictable and hard to tell what's causing it. So I've I've been to see different orthodontists for opinions over a year ago now, and. I went to a speech therapist, and nobody really can tell me anything about what caused the lisp. I, I myself have probably got better ideas than any of the professionals because my voice was very important to me, and I, I can I can kind of hear where the sounds coming from, and depending how I hold my mouth, I know how to make it sound slightly better or or worse and I know the sound is, come, is created by some of the gaps between the top and bottom teeth at the front. But even the speech therapist couldn't confirm that was what was causing it, but my orthodontist eventually agreed that that was what was causing it, and actually she's, she's tried moving the, the top teeth further out, so they're sticking out again, and tried moving the bottom teeth out of the gums, at one point to try and make try and uh, align the front teeth top and bottom and of course that was an irreversible movement and uh, aside from not making the lisp any better it 
made the bottom teeth rather ugly, created gaps in between the bottom teeth that I've never had before, and there's actually some overlapping on the on the right side now. So yeah, it's basically been a nightmare, backwards and forwards every few weeks, unbearable pain. I've I've been taking so much Nurofen. At one point, I actually made myself sick just from basically taking a an overdose of Nurofen over time just a build up of it in my system and then I'd stop taking painkillers and just put up with the pain so you know the whole thing was just a nightmare that I didn't really want to talk about so yeah I'm, I'm sorry that I stopped the vlogs but that pretty much explains it so after almost four years in braces on a 12 to 18 months job my orthodontist has basically announced that there's no more that she can do for me and I'm having them taken off tomorrow so <laughs> four years and six thousand pounds down the drain basically because I hate the appearance of the teeth and although they're obviously better than they were before the braces were fitted they're a darn sight worse than they were two years ago and yeah, it's just pretty much depressing <laughs> in every way. So I'm trying to think what what else I I need to put in this vlog really. Um, just devastated about the way I sound because one of I mean I had two main reasons for wanting to get my teeth straightened in the first place. I I had self-confidence issues um well <laughs> the person who mattered most to me as far as looks were concerned is, is now uh, happily settled with somebody else so it's ra rather pointless you know but after four years you can't really expect other people's circumstances to stay the same and my other major reason for wanting to get my teeth straightened was for my own self-confidence when my major dream was to act and sing and I used to do a lot of voice acting but I really wanted to move into musical theatre so that's not exactly worked out very well either <laughs> considering that my teeth are still crooked the bottom teeth are worse than they were originally and uh, now, of course, I can't even speak clearly. <laughs> so where everybody used to compliment me on my lovely clear voice, now I'm left with this awful s sound every time I try to say an S. And also the discomfort every time I say the S with the, the front teeth banging together unevenly. So, yeah, I'm I'm pretty miserable. But I've... And I've put off having the braces removed for several months now. My orthodontist has wanted to take them off. Oh, well, we're finished with the job now. Yeah, if only she'd finished with the job when I was happy with the result, but the goose was overcooked, as the saying goes, and there's really not a lot that she can do at this point. So, yeah, this is a, this is a depressing vlog. <laughs> but you wanted it. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've gone over the, uh, the voice and even, even the bite at the back is not as good as it was before the wire was cut. I mean, a lot of that has been corrected with elastics, very painful elastics. I've had to wear alternate nights for the last eight, nine months. Um... But, I mean, as I say, I've been trying to put off getting the braces removed, hoping that a miracle would occur and the list would resolve itself, which, of course, it never did. And, as I say, it, all my dreams were kind of shattered in, in the, over the last couple of years of delays. And I've, you know, I've got too old for a lot of the theatre courses I, I wanted to try and 
you know, so the braces have pretty much taken a lot of opportunities from me. Uh, but the major reason that I'm having to get the braces off now is because I need fillings, which I can't get done until the braces are removed. And also I'm having a lot of trouble with my lower left wisdom tooth, which is on its side and keeps causing a lot of pain trying to cut through. So it's looking like I'm going to have to have a procedure to get that removed under general anaesthetic. And that can't be done till the braces are off either. So I've, yeah, I've really been left with no other choice than to get them off, even though I'm not happy. And I think that pretty much rounds it up. So I suppose I have to do my usual showing of how my teeth look now to finish off this video. And, well, yeah, I suppose I'll update after the braces are removed tomorrow. So this is, this is the mess that is my teeth today. Sorry, it's a bit hard to see because obviously it's it's after dark and the artificial light in this room is not very good. It's quite shadowy. You can see the, the front teeth sticking out further than they were before. And all the gaps in the bottom teeth where she moved the lower teeth further out of the gum you can see it created a little gap here and there's more behind the canines which ironically is one of the reasons that my orthodontist ref refused to remove the braces when I was happy with the result back in 2012 because there were gaps between the canines and the molars and now I've just ended up with even more gaps <laughs> so yeah and just to top it all off tomorrow I have to get the braces off which is going to be about an hour and a half procedure to remove all the brackets and then clean the glue off and take moulds for the retainers which I have to wear every night for the rest of my life just to keep this fantastic result that we have achieved and and to get the fixed retainers fixed <laughs> on the back of the teeth which I also have to wear for life and just to top it all off I've developed some kind of bump on my tongue which I've self-diagnosed as a as a kind of polyp but we haven't actually got any professional diagnosis on that yet but it's a very sore and painful bump right in the middle of my tongue which hurts every time I swallow or eat or try and talk it's very painful even now and I'm not actually sure how I'm going to sit there or lie there with my mouth open for an hour and a half tomorrow morning but somehow I suppose I'll just have to manage it if anybody can tell me what this bump on my tongue is then I would be very grateful because I I went to see the dentist at the practice yes, the, the same one who cut the wire back in March 2013 and it was an emergency which, which was the only reason I went back to see her and she basically told me to ignore this bump which suddenly came up a week ago because it was a part of my anatomy yeah I have other lumps and bumps on my tongue, so this one is nothing to worry about. Why did it come up overnight then? And why does it hurt like heck? <laughs> As you can probably guess by now, I am not too keen on that dentist. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll update tomorrow when the braces have been removed. And I'll see you then.